Embark on an unparalleled adventure with the Bible at your side, a journey not just through a book, but through the depths of history, spirituality, and self-discovery. This path, rich with historical and spiritual insights and opportunities for deep personal reflection, invites you into a world where thoughtful selection, structured exploration, and the warmth of sharing with others opens your heart to the endless lessons nestled within its pages. Here, every page turned is a step towards transforming not only your understanding of God's divine nature, but also of life itself. Join us now as we explore how to read the Bible with meaning and purpose. Have you ever wondered how to read the Bible more effectively? This sacred text, one of the oldest and deepest in the world, is a wellspring of wisdom and guidance. Reading it effectively can cast a new light on life's challenges, offering clarity where there was confusion. But the Bible is not always an easy read. Its age and depth mean that without the right approach, its messages can be misinterpreted. However, with the correct mindset and method, understanding the Bible can become not just manageable, but a fulfilling and enlightening journey. The first step in reading the Bible more effectively begins even before you open the book. It, it begins with prayer. Yes, prayer, a humble conversation with God, is pivotal in seeking understanding and wisdom from the Scriptures. But why is this so important? Well, the Bible is more than just an ancient text. It's a divine revelation, a spiritual guide, a map to the sacred. And to comprehend its profound wisdom, we need more than just intellectual understanding. We need spiritual discernment, a gift that comes from God. Through prayer, we invite God to open our minds and hearts to the truths contained within His Word. We ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance to illuminate our understanding and to help us apply the Scriptures in our daily lives. Prayer is like preparing the soil before planting a seed. It readies our hearts and minds, making them fertile ground for the Word of God to take root and grow. It clears away the debris of preconceived notions and biases, allowing the divine wisdom to shine through. As we approach the Bible with a prayerful heart, we align ourselves with God's Spirit, opening the door to a deeper, more meaningful understanding of His Word. So before you open your Bible, take a moment to pray. Ask God for understanding, for wisdom, and for guidance. Invite Him into your reading. Remember, prayer is a powerful tool in seeking understanding and guidance from the Scriptures. The second step involves selecting the right version of the Bible. There are numerous versions available, each with its unique language style and interpretation. For instance, the New International Version is known for its easy-to-understand modern English while the King James Version is appreciated for its poetic and traditional language. If you're a beginner, you might find a version with simpler language more accessible. There's no right or wrong version. It's all about finding one that suits your reading style and comprehension level. Finding a Bible version that resonates with you can make reading and understanding the Scriptures a more enjoyable experience. The third step is to start your reading journey with the Gospels. Why, you may ask? The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, provide a first-hand account of Jesus' life, teachings, and miracles. They are the foundation of Christian faith and offer a comprehensive understanding of Jesus' message of love, forgiveness, and salvation. Reading these books first will not only introduce you to the central figure of the Bible, but also provide context for the rest of the Scriptures. Remember, the Bible is a narrative, and every narrative has a beginning. The Gospels provide a great starting point for anyone new to reading the Bible. The fourth step involves using a Bible guide or study aid. These tools like commentaries, concordances, and Bible dictionaries can serve as your own personal tour guides to the Scriptures. They can illuminate difficult passages, decode complex concepts, and provide context that breathes new life into the text. Imagine having a well-versed friend by your side, ready to offer insights whenever you're puzzled. That's what a good study aid can do. A good Bible guide or study aid can be a valuable companion in your journey through the Scriptures. The fifth step is to take time to reflect on what you've read. Reflection is not just a casual afterthought. It's a critical part of the reading process. It enables us to delve deeper beyond the words on the page and into the profound wisdom these sacred texts hold. 
Consider keeping a journal to jot down your thoughts or questions as they arise. Oh, this practice can transform your reading into a dialogue, a personal conversation with the text. By spending time in thoughtful contemplation, you allow the teachings of the Bible to sink in, to resonate, and to ultimately guide your life. Reflection is an essential part of understanding and applying the teachings of the Bible. The sixth step is to consider joining a Bible study group. This can be a powerful tool in your journey to understand the Bible. In a group, insights are shared, and the scriptures are explored collectively, often leading to enriched understanding. The beauty of community support is that it fosters encouragement and motivation. You'll find that questions are welcomed and discussions can open up new perspectives on familiar passages. Remember, the Bible is a deep well of wisdom and sometimes it takes a village to draw out its treasures. A Bible study group can provide a supportive and enriching environment for exploring the scriptures. The final steps in reading the Bible effectively are consistency and open-mindedness. These are the pillars that support your journey into the intricate world of biblical understanding. Let's begin with consistency. Reading the Bible is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's not about how quickly you can get through the pages, but rather about absorbing the wisdom within them. Just like any skill, understanding the Bible requires practice. Making it a part of your daily routine can be incredibly beneficial. It can be as simple as setting aside a few quiet minutes each morning or evening to immerse yourself in the scriptures. Over time, this regular engagement with the Bible will build your familiarity and depth of understanding. But what happens when you encounter challenging passages? It's important to remember that it's okay to struggle. In fact, it's in these moments of struggle that real growth often happens. So, when you come across a difficult verse or a complex parable, don't be discouraged. Persevere, ask questions, seek answers. This is where the second pillar, open-mindedness, comes into play. Open-mindedness in reading the Bible means being receptive to new interpretations and understandings. It's about allowing the scriptures to speak to you in fresh ways each time you open the book. You may find that a verse that seemed confusing at first becomes clearer upon further reflection. Or a story that you've read a dozen times suddenly reveals a new layer of meaning. Being open-minded also means welcoming the wisdom of others. Engage in discussions with fellow Bible readers. Listen to their perspectives. You might discover that their insights illuminate passages in ways you hadn't considered. So as you embark on your journey through the Bible, remember to be consistent in your reading and stay open to the many layers of understanding that the Scriptures offer. With consistency and an open mind, the Bible can become a source of endless wisdom and guidance. So, to recap, reading the Bible effectively is a journey that involves several important steps. Our first stride is a prayer for understanding, inviting divine wisdom to guide us through the sacred text. Next, we select a Bible version that resonates with us, easing our path into the Scriptures. The Gospels are our starting point, offering a relatable narrative that eases us into the depth of the Bible. The fourth step introduces the use of a Bible guide or study aid, tools that help us navigate the complex passages and historical context. Reflective moments are crucial as they allow us to absorb and digest the spiritual nourishment we've been fed. Joining a Bible study group is our sixth step. Here we share and grow through communal understanding, widening our perspective. Consistency and an open mind form the seventh and eighth steps. Regular reading habits and a welcoming approach to new interpretations aid in our continual growth. Remember the Bible, a, a collection of timeless stories and teachings inspired by divine wisdom and invites you on a personal journey of discovery and enlightenment. It, each page holds the potential to deepen your understanding of faith, guiding you on your spiritual path. Experience the renewal of faith and wisdom. Subscribe to Bible Renewal Project for more captivating stories, profound insights, and a journey into the heart of divine wonders. Let the timeless narratives of the Bible inspire and uplift your spirit.